in this lesson we will be learning how to make sentences with a given verb and given pronoun like hindi in russian also the tail of the verb changes as per the subject subject is singular plural it is third person it is male female so in this cases there is one particular tail after the verb like in hindi main padhta hu ve padhte hain vah padhti hai in this way in russian also uh, this tail of the verb changes and in russian i may tell you there are no no auxiliary words the verbs like is am are which we called as helping verbs also so in case of small sentences uh, we will uh, start with these small sentences you will see how it change according to each person now i'll start with the verb uh, rabotet rabotet means to work so when it comes to i work it is ya rabotayu ya rabotayu means the rabotet converts into i u i u u is put after rabot rabotayu i work similarly other other verbs will also change like you are you you will be there after whenever there is ya it will be you in the end ya rabutayu i work ya rabutayu but when it comes to t t means you then it will be t rabutayish aish aish will be in the tail of that word last t will be over and in that place it will come aish means t rabotaish you work t rabotaish you work then for on ani ano it is yet yet so on rabotayet ani rabotayet ano rabotayet means he she or it they work so when on ana ano is there it is uh, the tail ends with yet so you have seen when ya is there it is u in the end when t is there it is ash in the end and when on ana ano is there it is yet in the end rabtaet similarly b me means b when it is me uh, we work it means me rabtaem in the end will come yam rabutayam bi ramut rabutayam like sanskrit padhti padhat padhanti it is the same bi rabutayam we work similarly you work in case of formal formal you work means we we rabutayate means in case of this t informal you it was rabutayish but here formal you we rabutayate rabotayete means you work we rabotayete we you work similarly when for they we use ani ani rabotayut means when they it is a plural it will be ani rabotayut so these six cases in case we learn we will be able to frame sentences means when it is ya in the end comes u t in the end comes ish in case on ani ano it in the end comes yet and when me is there rabutayam it will be m when we then rabutayate ate in the end and when ani then rabutayut it will be like now we'll have another example that is to know zinat zinat is a word which means to know so yaznayu yaznayu means i know yaznayu means i know similarly as it was ya rabutayu 
I work. Similarly, ya znayu, I know. Ti znayesh, ti znayesh, you know. In case of work, it was ti rabotayesh. Here it is ti znayesh. Then on, ana, ano, it will be znayet. It will be znayet. Like it was, uh, in the case of work, it was on, ana, ano, rabotayet. So, here on, ani, ano, znayet means he, she, or it, they know. Then, me, znayam, me, znayam, we know. Me, znayam, in English it will be, we know. We, znayte, we, znayte means you know, it is a formal, means to our seniors, to our elders, we say we. And it will be, we, znayte, and when it comes to ani, means plural, they know, it means ani, zna yut. So this way we have to do za ya will be having tail tail of the verb will be you. In case of t tail of the verb will end with ish. In case of an on ana ano the tail of the verb will end with yet and me. Me means we when it is plural. Me rabutahayam the tail will end with yem. And for we, the tail will end with ete, rabutayete, or we, znayete, like this. And in case of ani, ani, they means, it will be ending with yut, means ani, rabutayut, they work, or ani, znayut, they know. So in this verb, in this like, uh, way, the, these, in case of pronouns, the tail of the verb changes.